Hello everyone, welcome to this beginner level, I guess, Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, as the title says, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a widget blueprint to be able to use it with gamepad and keyboard, as well as with the mouse. Alright, let's begin. I'm going to hit play to show you the widget blueprint that we're going to be working on. And this is the one. As you can see, it does not accept keyboard at all. Unless I click in the buttons and then I will be able to use it. It's not that visible. I'm going to make this larger so you can see. Let's see, I'm going to click it again. And there you can see, like for example, in this C. Right now I am hitting spacebar and you can see that it's surrounded by a border but not a continual border. I don't know how to say that in English, I don't know the name in English. But you can see that just when I click it I am able to use the keyboard. But if I, if I stop and hit play again I'm not able to use it at all unless I click again and there it is okay let's begin then setting up this widget blueprint to be able to use it with gamepad and keyboard first of all let's go to the widget blueprint here it is and we're going to go to graph hit class default, it's already in there, and we're going to look for is focusable, focusable, so we're going to enable it, click it, so it appears this arrow, we're going to compile, save, perfect, and we're also going to go to the level blueprint, we're going to go there because that's where I call the widget blueprint to the viewport and we're going to add the following code I'm going to call the get player there it is and then I'm going to call the set input you can choose either of them either input mode game or mode UI only I'm going to choose UI only. Alright. In widgets to focus, I'm going to connect it to here. Because it is asking which widget it needs to have that input mode set up. Okay. I'm going to add a delay. Just a few sh really short time. This delay is to enable the next node that we're going to add, which is the set user focus. The set user focus needs to be taken from the widget. Here it is. Please take in consideration that the one you're going to use is this one set user focus going to be this one over here symbol in there okay so we have it set user focus we're going to connect it after delay and as i was saying the delay we put it in here just a few a short time so we can let the widget blueprint get the set focus enabled to use it with the input and in player we're going to connect it with this one here okay there it is all right now the other step that we're going to do in order to use the widget 
with keyboard gamepad because for the moment we hit play this still does not work it only works if I hit it with the mouse and then we can see the border in there it's really hard to see it but it is there and that's not what we want we want to be able to use it from the start with gamepad and keyboard so we're going to go back to the widget blueprint uh -huh. here it is and in functions we're going to click on the override option and then on these options that we have here we're going to look for on key down we hit play we hit sorry we hit play we choose it we click it and here it is all right we have the option now opened and i just added this button for demonstration this one here and this is the one we're going to call as we want the focus to start on this button here is the button that i added here 350 we're going to call it here choose the option get here it is and now we're going to look for the node that says set focus we there it is set focus we're going to connect it only here because if you connect it here we're going to get an error because it's asking for a value here so we're it's not actually necessary so we're not going to add it all right now we're going to hit play to see and there it is as I say it's hard to tell that the option is already there because the button does not get color so right now I don't even know where it is I lost it let me stop it and hit play again there it is you can see it mm -hmm. you can see it. here is the mouse I am not using it I'm going to prove it right now once again <laughs> There it is. Here's the mouse. I'm not going to click anything. Just the keyboard. There it is. You can see it. The mouse has not moved at all. And there it is. Now, as you can see, it does not change at all. Like, the hover option is not working, even though it does. these buttons does have hover. You can see here, this is the hover but when using it with the keyboard it's not working at all it only gives this border that is not actually visible so i'm going to show you like a workaround because according to what i investigated there's not an option to add hover option in the buttons that are being used with keyboard and with the gamepad but i did find a workaround that does help i'm going to show it to you right now so we're going to stop it and go again to the widget blueprint okay here we are and we're going to go to the event graph you can either create an event or a function for this i'm going to create a function really quickly and i'm going to call it button style on input mode there it is now we're going to begin I'm going to show it how you can do it with this button these ones over here there are customized buttons that I created so this is not the normal button that you find here these are widgets that I customized as buttons if you are a beginner on the Unreal Engine I know it will be confusing what I'm saying, but if you already have information on it, then I guess you will know what I'm talking about. And this is a button, a normal button, that the widget blueprint 
comes with. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to first call the button, get button, and I'm going to has any focus, honey has any user focus, and always from the button, I'm going to look for the set background color. There it is. And from here, in background color, I'm going to look for the select node, which is this one. And there it is. Now in here, on index, I'm going to change it to boolean. Boolean. And I'm going to connect this boolean here to here. Because I want this function to tell the widget blueprint that if this button has focus, user focus, I mean if the gamepad or the keyboard is focused on that button, then if it's true, I want it to change to a color like red, for example, like in this case. And if not, I want it to stay the same. So I'm going to make two variables here. If it's true, promote two variable. I'm going to put it, going to put the name as input color. There it is. And the input color. I apologize for the bird singing outside. Input color, I'm going to put it this type of red and if it's not focus here with I'm going to change it to white because I don't want it to move, to change the normal color that I already have it that I already have established on the buttons normal color I'm going to call it like that okay let's continue okay now it's all good and the last thing we need to do is to call this button on an event that will make it run constantly and this is the event tick so we're going to call the function here button Install on input mode. There it is. I'm going to hit play. And what the? This is not what I was expecting. Ah, if you get an error like this, where you see the it's like the buttons have disappeared. Going to, let, let me check really quick. Let's go back to the widget and let's see the. Ah, there it is. It's the alpha, meaning the opacity. It's at zero. We're going to add one here, meaning it's um, visible. It had put it as invisible, and this is correct. This is one. So on the color variables make sure that they're not set to opacity zero i mean the alpha is not zero it has to be one here and one here now let's hit play again that should solve the problem <laughs> now it is working okay here is the mouse as you can see we're going to now play this and it should now give us color there it is that's the color so you can see here the exit is not getting color if we go back to the exit that's because we did not configure that that's another type of button so that's why but don't worry about it you can see the other ones that are set up the color is changing and Sorry for that noise in the background, it's the neighbor doing whatever. Okay, 
so you see it is now getting color I am using the keyboard the mouse is not moving mouse cursor it's not moving using the keyboard and working perfectly great so I hope you find this short tutorial well I hope it's short I hope you find it useful if you like it please don't forget to give it a like comment if you have any questions I may be able to help you drop them below and if you would like to subscribe to get notifications of when I upload more tutorials or if you are interested in my 3d products I sell 3d models and unreal engine products so thank you very much have a great day or night and see you on the next video bye